kids welcome to today's maths class and today we'll do linear equations introduction in arithmetic we usually come across statement of the following type 22 plus 7 29 3 into 5 plus 2 that is equals to 21 etc such a statement involving the symbol equal is called equality the above statement do not involve any variable now consider the following problems if the number is added to itself then the sum is 20 let the required number be x then on adding the number to itself we get x plus x that is 2x according to the problem it is equals to 20 so our statement is x plus x equals to 20 or we can write 2x equals to 20 this is the example of equation as the equation is the statement of equality which contain one or more variable means unknown. Next is linear equation. An equation is the statement of equality which contain one or more unknown quantity of variable or an equation involving only a linear polynomial is called the linear equation. The equations say that the value of the left hand side LHS is equal to the value on right hand side means RHS, variable and constant. The word variable means something that can vary, means keep changing, change and the constant means does not vary, means which have a fixed value. The value of the variable is not fixed, variable is denoted usually by the letter of alphabet such as x, y, z, l, m, etc. As a expression is formed by performing operation like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division on the variables and constant. For example, 4x plus 5. The value of unknown or variable for which LHS of the equation is equal to RHS is called the solution of equation. For example, x equals to 5 is the solution of equation because 2x equals to 10 so here we'll put x value equals to 5 so 5 into 2 that is equals to 10 means our LHS equals to RHS so here x equals to 5 that is the solution of equation clear next is note to remember a linear equation remain the same when the expression on the left and right are interchange in the equation there is always an equality sign an equation can have one or more variable and these can be power one or more. We shall confine ourselves here to equation in the single variable whose highest power is one. Such equations are called linear equation in one variable or simple equation where power of variable is one. Clear? Now we'll take an example. Write the following statement in the form of equation. First one is the sum of 4 times y and 12 is 42. So according to question, 4 times of y that is 4y and sum with 12 means 4y plus 12 that is equals to 42. So our equation is 4y plus 12 equals to 42. Clear? Next is note to remember. If there is some sign other than the equality sign it is not an equation for the given equation not just one but many statement form can be given next is exercise 4.1 check whether the given value in the bracket is the solution for the given equation or not first is x plus 9 equals to 25 here x is given 16 so we'll put the value of x so 16 plus 9 that is equals to 25 so lhs equals to rhs means this value x equals to 16 is the solution of equation clear so practice all the questions of this exercise. Next is solving an equation. 
The balanced equation is like a weighing balance with equal weight in the two pairs. Whatever we do to the one side of an equation, we must also do to the same to the other side. While solving the equation, we use the following facts. We can add the same number to the both side of equation. We can subtract the same number to the both side of equation. We can multiply both side of equation by the same non-zero number or we can divide both side of the equation by the same non-zero number. Now, we will take an example, solve 3y plus 4 equals to 13. So, 3y plus 4 equals to 13. So, we have to find out the value of y. So, first we have to move 4. So, what will we will do? We will subtract 4 from the both side. So, 3y equals to jaga. 13 minus 4 that is 9. So, 3y equals to 9, y equals to 9 upon 3. So, y equals to 3. This is how we can find the value of variable or here we are finding the value of y that is equals to 3. Next is exercise 4.2. Solve the following equation y plus 2 equals to 3 y plus 2 equals to 3. So, we have to find the value of y. So, what we will do? We have to remove 2 from here. So, we will subtract 2 from the both side. So, here 2 ko dono side subtract kar diya. So, y equals to 1. Clear? So, y ki value kya jayegi? 1. So, practice all the questions of this exercise. Next is transportation method, another method of solving an equation. Transposing means moving a number from one side to other side during transportation. The number from one side to other side of the equation, we change the sign. We does not affect the equality of the equation. We take all variable of equation one side and all constant to the other side of the equation. Solve. 4p minus 8 equals to 6. So, now we learn how to do transportation. 4p minus 8 equals to 6. So, what we will do? We will transport 8 to the right hand side. So, right hand side pe jayenge, sign change ho jayega, 6 plus 8 ho jayega. So, 4p equals to 14. So, value of p equals to 14 upon 4 that is 7 upon 2 that is the value of p. Next, note to remember, the reciprocal of the rational number is also called the multiplicative inverse. The reciprocal of positive rational number is a positive and the reciprocal of negative rational number is negative. Next is exercise 4.3. Solve the following equation. First is 3x minus 5 equals to 4. Now, what we will do? We have to find the value of x. So, we will transport 5 to the other side. Sign change to jayega. 3x equals to 4 plus 5. That means 3x equals to 9. Nine. So, value of x equals to jayega, 9 upon 3. So, value of x kya gaya? 3. Clear? Next is application of linear equation. Now, we shall make use of simple equation to solve our day to day problem. To do so, we first form the equation corresponding to such situation and then solve those equations to get the solution to the problem. Now, we will take an example. The sum of 8 and 4 times of a number is 28. Find the number. So, first, we will suppose let the number be x. Now, according to the given statement, 4 times a number that is 4x. Sum of 8 and 4 times a number, 4 times a number that is 4x and plus 8 that is equals to 28. So, 4x equals to 28 minus 8. 
सो फोर एक्स टू क्या जाएगा ट्वेंटी एक्स इक्व टू ट्वेंटी अपॉन फोर दैट इज फाइव सो द रिक्वायर्ड नंबर इज फाइव नेक्स्ट इज एक्सरसाइज फोर पॉइंट फोर Five added to twice a number give thirteen. Find the number. So let the number be x. Now according to given statement, five is added to twice a number. Twice a number kya ho jayega? Two x and we add five to it. That gives thirteen. So now we have to find the value of x. So फाइव को ट्रांसपोर्ट कर देंगे अदर साइड मीन्स थर्टीन माइनस फाइव हो जाएगा टू एक्स इक्व टू एट एक्स इक्व टू एट अपॉन टू इज इक्व टू फोर सो आर रिक्वायर्ड नंबर इज फोर प्रैक्टिस ऑल द क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस एक्सरसाइज नेक्स्ट इज थैंक्स टू रिमेंबर An equation is a statement of equality which contain one or more variable. An equation involving only one variable with the greatest power one is called the linear equation. While solving an equation, we can add or subtract the same number from the both side of equation, multiply or divide both side of the equation by the same non-zero number. A linear equation can be solved by transporting the term also. Next is multiple choice questions. Take the correct option. Subtracting thirty-five from six times of a number gives thirty-one. The number is let the number be x. So six times of number that is six x. When we subtract thirty-five from it, we'll get thirty-one. So six x equals two. Which will be thirty-five. Go to the other side. Take thirty-one plus thirty-five. So six x equals two. Sixty-six. X equals to क्या हो जाएगा? Sixty-six upon six. That means x equals to eleven. So A is the correct answer. Clear? So practice all the questions of this chapter. Here we end the chapter. I hope you understand it well. So practice. Now you have to practice it.